This is a matched pair design. In experiments, our goal is to have a control and a treatment group as similar as possible, with the only difference between the groups being the treatment that's actually being applied. So in this case, the two different types of sunscreen. An individual's arms are very, very similar, so they'll work really well as a control and a treatment group, and they'll balance the effects that any lurking variables might have. That will allow us to really focus on the differences between the two types of sunscreen. We can conclude that the name brand sunscreen worked better for these volunteers. Since the sunscreen was randomly assigned to the arms of the volunteers and bias was avoided by blinding, they didn't let the volunteers know which sunscreen was going on which arm, we can conclude that the name brand sunscreen worked better for these volunteers. Since the subjects were not chosen randomly from the population of all people, we cannot generalize the results. These volunteers were people who visit beaches and also people who were willing to participate in a sunscreen study. They might be people who tan easily or maybe people whose skin is really responsive to name brand sunscreen. In other words, they might be different than the general population. So we don't know how the sunscreens will affect the general population. It might be different than how it affected these volunteers. If you like this video and want to learn more about collecting data through sampling and experiments, check out this playlist. We cover sampling methods, bias, simple random samples, experiments, and more.